Yeah, so we've achieved a lot over the last 12 months. We've raised our first investment round of £250,000. We've been also able to um, get our products produced by a new global manufacturing partner. We've won some new grants. And I'm really pleased to say we'll also be presenting at COP26, which is the UN's climate change conference. Uh, for me, it validated the idea. It took something that was just uh, something that was inside my brain um, to being something that people actually really cared about. And that really gave me the confidence um, to continue. Uh, it also um, opened up some doors for me as well. So I managed to get some funding from Microsoft, which again was a major boost for what we were doing. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been a good thing. So it was an amazing year for us. Uh, we had the great opportunities and connected to, with uh, NHS network um, and also had an opportunity to meet charity organizations such as Blessmar um, and also interact with angel invest investors and VC uh, investors. So it's been a lot of engagement during the year. At the beginning of the year, I started off with doing loads of research and really got all my ideas down on the table and started off my sketches and then also worked with a pattern cutter to really start on the production development side of things. And then throughout this past few months, I've partnered with a manufacturing company um, based in north, north of London in Tottenham and I've managed to get my, all my samples done and actually launched. So I only launched about five weeks ago. And so far it's done really well. I was, I've actually gathered quite a lot of press as well. So from the BBC, um, Who, What, Where, which are more like fashion publications. And also I was announced as like Tech Found's top 25 fashion startups in 2021. So it's been a really good first five weeks. <laughs> oh, the programme's been amazing. Um, not least, uh, it's been amazing because there was some funding that was available through it, which has enabled us to use some different technologies that we simply wouldn't have explored at the stage of the business that we were at, uh, which we can now implement in other areas of the business. That's been fantastic. Uh, we've accomplished, we've landed a FTSE 100 oil and energy business who we're giving a direct diversity data feed into so that they can match the market. Uh, and I've learned to talk about me as an innovator and not just about stratagems. Uh, and that's been through the support of the Innovation Growth Advisors. Next step for me is to continue to work on Guan, um, to tie up some loose ends in the back end system. And then from there, hopefully go and get some funding. So yeah, I'm gonna be um, talking to my Innovate UK Edge um, person <laughs> um, to get that to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited. There's been loads of really great moments across the whole programme. I would have to say building up the relationship with our business mentor has been the, the best piece about the whole programme for us. Not only has she been absolutely instrumental in helping us to learn new tools and techniques to really plan for business growth, but she's also been great in helping us to be that independent sounding board and ear on the ground where things are not going as well and, and uh, acting as, a, as someone who can help us to kind of um, re reframe when things have gone wrong and, and see the positive in every situation. Uh, so apart from winning, yeah, and going, here you are, that was, that was a pretty cool moment. Um, uh, I was lucky enough to be part of a judging panel um, for part of the Young Innovators and genuinely to see the talent that is available in this country uh, and to see the ideas was just really insightful and that's been part of the dissemination and getting people involved uh, and good luck to every single one of the young innovators who've applied on that, that was, that's brilliant. Uh, clearly landing a big client um, directly as a result of the project was a big win for us. Uh, and then lastly today, being able to be here and network and see a bunch of really innovative people and share ideas and collaboration is fab. Because I was prior to launch and it was still at like the idea stage, it was really probably just getting like the initial recognition, like your idea is actually really good. And then me having the confidence to actually push it forward. I'd say that was the most, um, the best part about it. I would say today is my favorite moment because today I had the chance to actually finally meet all the young innovators face to face, uh, talk about each, each business, present, choose robotics, and yeah, finally have a like, face to face gathering.